This is Johnny Mac, the gravy guy, with the Sauce and Gravy channel, your one-stop shop to sauce and gravy recipes. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe just yet, smash that subscribe button, it's free, and you'll have access to a huge variety of sauce and gravy recipes. In this recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a mushroom gravy. Sauteed mushrooms smothered in a deep, rich, dark brown gravy. Perfect for meatloaf, mashed potatoes, throw it on a roast, put it on chicken, knock yourself out. Buckle up, let's go. These are the ingredients for our mushroom gravy. One tablespoon of olive oil, two cups of beef broth, eight ounce box of button mushrooms, chopped any way that you like, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, four tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, one teaspoon of soy sauce, two sprigs of thyme. We have two secret ingredients that I'll show you at the end of the recipe. I'm using button mushrooms. Some people don't like to wash their mushrooms. I do, I like to wash them. I don't soak them because if you put them in a big water bath, it'll, they'll absorb the water. But if you give them a quick rinse and then dry them off with a towel, you're ready to go. So I use, I'm using button mushrooms. I chopped them, you can chop them any way that you like. Just make sure that the saute pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of butter and about one tablespoon of olive oil. Make sure that this gets really hot. If you put the mushrooms in and the oil's not hot enough, they'll just release their water. They'll start to steam or stew, and you don't want that. We want to saute these mushrooms, give them some color, bring out some flavor for this gravy. The butter is starting to brown. I think we've got the temperature up high enough. We're going to throw in our mushrooms. Give them a stir, and they're sizzling. Ah, that's music to my ears. They're sizzling, they're sauteing. Mushroom gravy is really an easy gravy to make, and it's perfect for a Sunday night meal. If you're making meatloaf, you can use this, drown the meatloaf in it, put it on some mashed potatoes. If you're making a Sunday roast, perfect gravy to put on the roast. Once the mushrooms are starting to look a little bit tender, you can throw in your sprigs of thyme. The heat will help release some of those flavors of the thyme into this gravy. The mushrooms, they look great. They've been sauteed. They're nice and tender. We're gonna scoot them to the side. We'll make a well for the center of the pan. This is where we're gonna start our roux. We're gonna add our butter, three tablespoons of butter. Add it to the center of the pan. You can turn the heat down to medium. Melt that butter. Now that the butter is melted, we can add our three tablespoons of flour. Mix it in. This is going to be our roux. This is going to be our thickening agent. You can start to mix it into the mushrooms. Once you've incorporated it into the center a little bit, you can start mixing it in with everything. Cook this for about two to three minutes to get that flour taste out. So you probably are thinking, well, how do I know whenever the roux is done cooking? When do I know? When should I pour in the liquids? Well, you'll know once you start to smell a warm, nutty smell, that means that the roux, it's cooked and it's ready to go. So I'm starting to smell that warm, nutty smell. Before we put the liquids in, it would be a perfect time to hit that like button to help the algorithm shoot this video out to all those people that might enjoy learning how to make a mushroom gravy. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And to thank you for your support, I'm gonna show you a picture of a fuzzy red panda. Now we'll add our two cups of beef broth. Make sure to scrape the sides and the bottom of the pan to get all of that flavor from the mushrooms that we're sauteing off the bottom of the pan as well as to incorporate that roux into this gravy. 
Once you've given it a little bit of a mix, you can add your one teaspoon of soy sauce. Bring this to a simmer over medium heat. Once it starts to simmer, it'll activate that roux, the thickening agent, to make this mushroom gravy nice and thick. And you can reduce this down as much as you like. So you can have it as thick or as thin as you like. If it's too thick, you can always add a little bit more broth in. Or if it's too thin, just reduce it down more. A great weeknight meal that I like to make with this gravy, which takes no time at all, is to fry up a little ground beef, make this gravy, mix it all together, put it over noodles, bam! Oh, you're talking delightful. Doesn't take much time at all to make, and it's a knockout meal. I reduce this further, roughly about eight minutes. Check it out. Look how rich and thick that is. It's a perfect consistency for mushroom gravy. This looks really nice. Do the little line test. Oh yeah. Now we'll add our secret ingredients. First secret ingredient, half of a teaspoon of sugar. Bam, in it goes. Second secret ingredient, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. In it goes. Stir everything in. If you have a whisk, it might work out a little bit better to incorporate that Dijon mustard. And we can remove the sprigs of thyme. Take a taste. Oh yeah, delicious, rich taste from the mushrooms. The brown gravy, comfortable, soothing, very hearty type gravy. Now adjust the seasoning a little bit. Add a dash or two of salt. A little bit of black pepper. Grab the spoon and bring it all together. Perfect. And that's how you make a delicious mushroom gravy. Hope you enjoyed this recipe on how to make a mushroom gravy. If you like hearty comfort foods, try out this Swedish meatball recipe or click on this Salisbury steak recipe. And remember to live, love, and make gravy.